Hello everyone, Shinto Bean here with some more Warhammer Combat cards. Uh, for this video, I want to talk about Warlords and talk about the history of them within this game and all of the major balance changes that have occurred. The changes to the Warlords special rules, their traits, their stats, and there's been a lot of changes in the time that I've been playing uh, over a year. So um, this is going to be a bit of a longer one, so strap yourselves in and... Uh, yeah, let me know if I make any mistakes, because I will probably uh, miss a few things. So, uh, let's just start from the top left, uh, going through one by one, uh, starting with the Eldari Warlord. So, first of all, from at the left, we have Fury of the Craft World, the Avatar. Uh, this guy has remained fairly um, unchanged, I think. Its points cost was slightly reduced, um, but uh, the biggest change to this guy was uh, that his trait was switched from Furious Charge to Inspiring Presence. And Inspiring Presence is definitely a lot better on a big Warlord like this. And not only does it increase um, his uh, stats by a good amount, um, it also you know buffs your bodyguards, um, which should have a lot of attack as well, so you're able to deal just a whole lot more damage um, in the final turns of the, of the battle. Um, so yeah, that guy hasn't been uh, changed very much. Next up, we've got Eldrod. Now Eldrod, I don't think his stats have been changed, but um, his special rule is actually um, not written correctly, I think. Uh, so it says, when an enemy card readies, one of your Eldari card readies. And it should say it readies twice. Whenever an enemy readies, you will ready twice there. Um, same as uh, Commissar Yarrick, actually. So that's not written there, but that is the way it works right now. Um, he was weaker when he came out. Um, his special rule is pretty situational. It doesn't always uh, activate very much. Uh, but Psychic Link was improved a while back, and so that made him quite a bit stronger. Alright, next up we got Rakarth. Rakarth is a very strong warlord. Uh, definitely one of the strongest ones in the game uh, at the moment. Um, his special rule... Increases the uh, health of all of your cards by 8. I don't think that has changed. Um, so yeah, I mean, he's still pretty new Warlord, so he hasn't actually received any uh, changes as of yet. And then we've got the, the Zephyr Blade. Um, I think... I, I can't actually remember what his trait used to be. I think it was maybe Precision Shot. Uh, it was switched over to Scout when the Scout trait was released. And his special rule, I think it might have been... Uh, just plus two attack whenever a, a card is destroyed, but uh, it is now plus three. It has been for quite some time um, So yeah uh, Used to be one of my favorite warlords to play as but haven't been using it very much uh, recently. All right next up. We got Necrons So Stormlord, this is a favorite for a lot of players. I think very powerful warlord um, His trait was also switched from precision shot to inspiring presence uh, definitely a lot better uh, with that uh, buff, and then his special rule itself, the wording has not changed, but the, actually a while back they changed the way that special rules interact with traits and, and stuff. So it used to be that his special rule activated at the end of your turn. So whenever your card's readied, um, then at the end of the turn, all the damage from those cards that readied would just hit the enemies at random. Um, so they changed it so that the it triggers immediately after the unit readies. So I kind of like the old way a little bit better. I feel like it's a little stronger, but it's not really that huge of a change. Uh, but it does actually also interact um, with um, the... There's only one Necron bodyguard with Scout, but uh, when that deploys, uh, it will ready and then activate that special rule. All right, next up we got Ulthakar. This guy had a very underwhelming uh, introduction into the game. He was very weak. Um, his special rule um, only triggered when enemies were below 50% of their health, and it only increased their stats, um, the attack stats of your units by 10. So that was increased uh, big time. Um, so now it triggers when enemies are below 75% health and increases by 15. It's quite strong. Um, this guy's still not quite uh, as popular as the other warlords. I think the main thing is he's still kind of new, and so people haven't leveled him up that he's uh, strong enough to actually be um, the best choice. But uh, interesting warlord. 
All right, Nemesis Zondrek, uh, he did get a slight change to his special rule. Um, I believe it used to buff your melee or range by just 10% uh, when he came out, but that was increased to 15%. Not a huge change, uh, but he is, I mean, he's a fun warlord, especially because his special rule has another part uh, where uh, the first instance in which he takes damage, uh, he withdraws from the field and, and is replaced by his bodyguard, uh, Oberyn, which is very powerful. It's very useful, and it can uh, kind of change up the way that you uh, play with him. He can also deploy to the field twice, uh, causing his trait outflank to trigger uh, both times. So that's pretty cool. Alright, and then we've got the Corpse Lord. Uh, this guy had his trait changed from Medicaid, I believe. It used to be Medicaid. And then it was uh, switched to Regeneration. Regeneration has also gone through changes uh, a few times. Um, but, yeah, and then... Uh, like the Stormlord, his uh, special rule also used to activate at the end of the turn. Um, it's actually really interesting because you could actually cause some of your units to come back to life after they were destroyed, uh, if they readied that turn. Uh, but that is no longer the case, uh, they just heal themselves immediately after readying by uh, 10 health. Alright, next up we got Tau. Commander Farsight, I don't think he has actually changed at all. Now, he's still pretty strong. Um, I haven't really been playing Tau very much, but uh, yeah, uh, Farsight. And then Shadow Sun uh, got a slight change. Her model actually changed, uh, the, the model that appears on the card there. And recently she got a buff to her health. Uh, she does have pretty low health. Uh, that was one of her weaknesses, um, but she got a slight increase to that. And I think that's it uh, for Shadow Sun. And then Aunva is uh, the most, the newest uh, Tau Warlord. And um, he hasn't actually gone through any changes as well. His special rule can be very strong against ranged or melee builds, but its huge uh, weakness is that it does absolutely nothing versus Psychic. So... Um, yeah, that is kind of a pretty major flaw, I think, in his special rule, so I don't know if he'll be getting any future changes, but... Um, okay, next up we got the Servants of the Emperor. Canoness Viridian is, I think, the most frustrating um, warlord to play as. Uh, she used to actually be really weak, even though uh, her special rule used to be stronger. It used to deal 100% of the melee damage. Uh, whenever one of your cards is destroyed, uh, that was too strong, so it's been reduced to 75. It's still very strong, though. Uh, very annoying to deal with. Um, she did get a slight buff to her health uh, a while back. Um, but the reason that she used to be really weak was that Servants of the Emperor in the beginning had very few good bodyguards. Especially ones that could deal a lot of melee damage. They, they just didn't exist. But since, since then, they've added so many really powerful... Uh, bodyguards like the Penitent Engine uh, and and whatnot, so she is very strong now. Okay, next up we've got Magos Dominus. Uh, this guy also used to be exceedingly weak. Um, his trait started off as Medicaid, then it was switched to Regeneration, then it got switched back to Medicaid. I think Medicaid might be a little bit better for him because he's so weak uh, stats-wise that you don't want him on the field at all, really. Um, so, his special rule uh, used to be weaker as well, only healed uh, 10 in the beginning, and then it was raised to 15, and now it's at 20. So he is quite a bit better than he used to be. Commissar Yarik was also very weak as well, he had a much weaker melee attack and less health, uh, but they gave him a buff to his stats. Uh, his trait was switched from Furious Charge to Inspiring Presence, and his special rule... Uh, allows his cards to ready twice. It used to just be uh, one time. But yeah, he is definitely a lot better, a lot more fun to play as now. Next up, we've got the Space Marines. So Grandmaster Voldus. Now this guy recently had a uh, change to his stats. His points cost was re reduced by a little bit. Uh, his health and damage was also reduced. Um, but that allows you to have a little more flexibility with which bodyguards you use with him. His trait was switched from uh, Warp Surge to Psychic Link once uh, Psychic Link was released. 
And um, his special rule has also been buffed several times. I think in the beginning it was only 10%, then it went to 15, now it's at 20% uh, boost every time you deploy uh, a unit. Still don't usually use him all that much, uh, but he is, I, I suppose, better than he used to be. Uh, Captain Acheron, this guy is the very first warlord that you start off with in the game. Uh, also the most, or the, the least interesting in my opinion. Um, I don't know if his stats have really changed much. Um, his special rule, I think, has improved a bit. I think it just used to give him plus 10 health each time you deploy a card. It's at plus 15 now. I think um, the reason he has such a kind of weak and boring uh, special rule is that he is the very first warlord that players are uh, introduced to, and so it's better to just have something that's easy to understand like him. So I don't know if they'll be changing this at all, but yeah, don't really play him very much uh, for that reason. Uh, next up, Watch Captain Artemis. This guy used to be super weak as well. Um, his trait was switched from, I believe, Furious Charge to Big Game Hunter. Uh, Big Game Hunter is just not really good trait on him. He doesn't deal enough damage for it to make much of a difference. But his special rule used to be terrible. Uh, it used to just deal 10% of the enemy's current uh, health. So if, for example, it targeted a unit that had only 10 health left, it would only deal 1 damage. Um, but now, thankfully, that has been changed to 15% of their maximum health, their starting health. Um, so you're able to actually destroy enemies with it. Uh, it's very strong against uh, decks that run just very few powerful bodyguards. Um, but um, it's not so great against uh, um, decks that have a lot of bodyguards. So uh, he could. There's some room for improvement, I think, with him still. Uh, Lieutenant Tolmeron. This guy is uh, another uh, favorite. Uh, very powerful. Um, his special rule was so strong that it has been uh, reduced several times. I think it used to be 25% uh, boost to the ranged attack. It was, uh, nerfed to 20%, now it's at 15%. Um, but with uh, Inspiring Presence being a trait that you can combine with, it's pretty strong, I think. It can be fun to play with as well. Alright, moving on to Chaos. So, Abaddon. Abaddon used to be very bad. Uh, his special rule, I just looked at the patch notes recently, and I think... He uh, used to only gain plus two to all the attack stats whenever uh, he attacked. That was increased to plus seven. That's a major increase. And I believe um, this special rule only apply. It used to only apply to uh, units that were on the field, but now it, depl it deploys to all uh, chaos cards, including ones in the deck. And Abaddon also recently got a slight increase to his health and damage as well as points. And making him uh, a little bit stronger once he's on the field. His special rule, of course, only activates when he is on the field attacking. Uh, but uh, Furious Charge also causes his uh, special rule to activate, so uh, that's pretty good. Skulltaker is uh, the most recent Chaos Warlord to come out. He is quite fun, very powerful special rule that enables you to uh, destroy enemies a lot more often than you would otherwise. So he hasn't actually gone through any changes yet. Um, he does have pretty low health, but um, he's pretty fun to play as at least. Ariman has gone through a major change recently. Um, his points cost was increased a little bit, but his special rule used to be really bad. Um, it just was so random. It could uh, damage enemies or damage your own units, including himself. Uh, he could heal your units or heal enemies. Um, but that was changed. Uh, it also used to only trigger when he was attacking, so he had to be on the field attacking, and then it was just completely, like, chaotic and random. Uh, but that bolt of change was changed, so now it triggers at the beginning of every turn, and it can only benefit you, uh, either by healing your own units or damaging enemies. So much better, uh, much uh, more fun to play, as I think. And his trait also used to be Warp Surge, uh, it was changed to Psychic Link. At the beginning, people were saying that Psychic Link was pretty bad, and, I mean, it used to be weaker, but since they uh, buffed it, increased that percentage, it is quite strong now. And uh, last of all, we got Glogarthrox the Foul. Uh, this guy is 
probably the weakest of the Chaos Warlords, I think. Um, his trait used to be Shield, I believe. And I forgot to mention this, but uh, they're actually... In, when I first started playing the game, there were only six traits in the game. Six traits. And three of them were like the exact same. The Furious Charge, Precision Shot, and Warp Surge. So since then, uh, they've more than tripled the number of traits in the game. And so there's just a lot more variety. So his trait used to be Shield. It was uh, changed to Fear. And Fear has also gone through changes, but I won't get into that. Uh, but it does make him a little more resilient. His special rule was also uh, buffed. I think it used to only heal whenever he attacked, but now it's at 12 health. It's still not uh, super strong, but uh, better than it used to be. Moving on to Orcs. So, we've got Gazgol Thraka. Uh, this guy, I don't think his special rule has changed, or his trait, but uh, recently his uh, stats were um, increased. He got a, a modest buff to his health and damage, as well as a slight increase to his points. So he's uh, his model also it used to be the old uh, model, but it was uh, changed to the brand new model released by Games Workshop. So uh, much more fearsome presence on the field. Next up, we got Captain Badruck. Uh, this guy, another very powerful warlord. Um, his special rule, I believe, used to deal 75% of the range damage. Now, whenever you destroyed an enemy, that was nerfed to 50%. Now, he's still pretty strong. Yeah, pretty easy to use as long as you put in a bunch of really powerful ranged units. Okay, and nope. Okay, next up we got Boss Nickrot. Uh, this guy is still pretty new. Uh, this guy also kind of had a weak introduction into the game because his special rule almost never uh, triggered, but thanks to target acquired and barrage, um, it can trigger a lot more often now. Um, and uh, I think recently he got a slight increase to his health uh, because he is pretty low health, but uh, uh, nothing too huge has changed with him yet. And then Boss Zagstruck. Now this guy on the other hand has changed uh, massively. His special rule used to be uh, fairly weak. I think it just dealt 15 damage to a random enemy whenever you destroyed uh, an enemy card. Uh, that was increased to 20 damage but it was still fairly uh, weak, so they just revamped it entirely. Uh, the special rule now allows him to get an extra melee attack in uh, every time one of your cards would ready. And his trait was also switched to Big Game Hunter. That used to be Furious Charge, I think, so... A very strong Warlord uh, at the moment. Finally, we have the Tyranids. So uh, on the left here, we've got the Swarm Lord. This guy just came out. Uh, he's still very new, so he has not gone through any changes. Um, his special rule does feel a little bit weak, but I don't know. His stats are pretty strong, so I don't know if... I, th I think if they buffed the special rule anymore, uh, it could be very difficult to actually beat him. Next up, we got the Hive Tyrant. Uh, this guy, let's see, I think his trait was maybe Precision Shot in the beginning. It was changed to Fear, making him uh, tougher, a lot harder to kill. And the special rule used to deal 10 damage at the end of each turn, but recently uh, buffed to 15 damage. So uh, he's a little bit stronger than he used to be. And then we've got the Turvagon. Uh, this thing hasn't changed very much, but uh, it's kind of funny. When he first came out, the Termagants actually all had a Psychic attack. Um, thankfully, they removed that. And I'm not sure exactly... So he, you can see down there that the upgrade path, he does have some Psychic upgrades. I think maybe those Psychic upgrades uh, increase the range damage of Termagants. I'm not entirely sure. Don't quote me on that. But um, yeah, Turvagon. Um, his special rule, though, remains the same. Infinite Termagants. And then finally, we've got Gosar. Uh, Gosar, um, I don't think his special rule has changed at all. Just plus two uh, melee at the end of each turn to all of your units. His trait was changed from probably Furious Charge to Inspiring Presence, which again, I think is uh, better on him. Uh, he's still kind of, I don't know, he feels a little bit weak uh, compared to some of the more recent uh, Warlords, but um, 
we'll see if any changes occur um, with the new season starting up. And with PvP coming out soon, uh, that will be very um, a very big <laughs> change to the game, to the way that people play, uh, playing against actual humans instead of uh, decks controlled by the AI. So we'll see if there are any um, big changes that come to any of these uh, warlords. So that is a rundown of all 30 warlords in the game uh, currently. Uh, let me know if I missed anything, um, or if, if you have any uh, questions or disagreements with anything that I said. Um, but yeah, uh, that's it for this video. As always, thanks for watching, and I will see you next time.